So we're, we're very fortunate today to have uh, Mike Draper here uh, with CleanCore Technologies. Um, CleanCore has taken advantage of the uh, Department of Economic Development's incentives to work with the university, and we've got some great projects going on showing that their, their systems are, are an effective uh, uh, disinfecting cleaning agent for uh, bacteria and viruses. Um, just so you know, uh, Mike is the chief executive officer of Century Ridge Holdings, the parent company for CleanCore, and has uh, previously served as chief financial officer for uh, Burlington Capital and before that CFO of Transgenomic. Mike. Thanks, Mike. Um, first of all, thank you again. My name is Mike Draper. I'm here to introduce you to CleanCore Technologies. And as you can probably guess, um, well, first of all, I, I'm a business guy, not a science guy. And as you can guess from the company name, we're about to talk to, about a cleaning technology company, which is very different than the presentations you've seen already. So with that, we'll get, we'll get started. Maybe we'll get started. There we go. Okay, so as an introduction, first of all, think about how we use chemicals today. Our overuse of chemicals and antimicrobial products are contaminating ourselves, our, our water, our air, our ground, and creating new contaminants in our environment. Uh, CleanCore products are in a new cleaning category called engineered water. What engineered water is, is a technology that uses water to generate a cleaning so solution on site and on demand, as opposed to traditional chemicals that are manufactured, packaged, delivered, et cetera. Um, engineered water solutions are leading kind of an evolution away from traditional cleaning chemicals to a new, more sustainable type product. And CleanCore products are a very unique, patented, sustainable, and truly green product that we're bringing to market. So what is our technology and how does it work? Um, our technology is really, at its heart, an aqueous ozone technology. Okay? We create an aqueous ozone cleaning solution just using the air that we breathe, cold water, and electricity. It's really simple. It's generated on site, on demand, literally with the flip of an on-off switch. Um, our patented technology contains high concentrations of dissolved ozone in the form of bubbles or that are nano size, so very, very tiny bubbles, what we would call nano bubbles. Those nano bubbles are uh, the way we've determined or figured out that we have done a more effective job of uh, dissolving or mixing the ozone into the water, thereby creating a longer lasting, more stable, and more effective cleaning solution. So clean core technologies really are, we're targeting our products at traditional janitorial type applications, Jansan applications. Those applications are, are anything where traditional cleaning chemicals can be used today. Things like hard surface cleaning, high touch cleaning. Think about these desktops, think about door handles and things like that. Um, you can also clean floors, hard surface floors and even carpet. Uh, we recently, in fact, Within the last two weeks, we received a designation called the Wool Safe designation. It's like the gold standard for carpet cleaning solutions. Um, and we received that certification. We do very well on carpets. Uh, our portable units or our mobile units are used extensively in restrooms, locker rooms, schools. And one of the unique things that we've done is we've partnered with one of our clients uh, who happens to be in a healthcare environment. And what we've done is we've changed the way they turn a patient room. And we've incorporated our technology into how they clean that patient room. And so you, know, you were talking about uh, hospital acquired infections and things like that. Well, what we've done is, is we use our technology in this hospital to go in and clean, clean first. And, and with our technology being a no-touch cleaning system, you can cover the room more completely and more thoroughly cleaning it than you ever had in the past using traditional chemicals. And then our client has come behind and said, okay, we've identified all these high touch surfaces that we need to be concerned about. And we're going to go down and we're gonna wipe them down with a hospital grade disinfectant. And what they have found is that their rooms are cleaner and much more safe in terms of their quality control. They've, their, their quality control standards for their rooms, have, it's, it's improved greatly since they've, they've changed the way they clean. So when, what we're seeing is when we're implemented in a regimen, a cleaning regimen with hospital grade disinfectants, we're, we're seeing superior results in those types of settings. So why are we targeting traditional cleaning applications? Well, it's very simple. The market's huge. 
And you don't need a very big piece of a huge market to have a successful company. So in 2012, there was a report issued called the Worldwide Cleaning Report. In that report, it was estimated that over $40 billion a year in the United States alone is spent on cleaning products. It's even bigger in Europe. Europe spends $48 billion a year on cleaning products. It was estimated at that time that 25% of those markets are for, for products that were considered green cleaning products, and that that demand for green cleaning products was growing uh, pretty significantly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with that size of the market and the opportunity for growing for green cleaning products, uh, we feel we have a very significant opportunity. Again, you don't need a big piece of that kind of market to have a successful company. So benefits of clean core products. What are our clients telling us? Because our clients are the ones that really are, are going to tell us what are the benefits of our clients. Well, first of all, simplified cleaning, okay? Um, if, you, if you ever go into a, like a janitor's closet or a cleaning area, you're going to see a multitude of cleaning chemicals, different colors, maybe dosing systems on the wall. We're one step. We're one box on the wall. You come on, you turn it on, you dispense the cleaning solution. It's easy, it simplifies the cleaning process. There's no more mixing, handling, protective equipment, nothing. And one of the benefits that we've seen is, if you think about janitorial crews, a lot of times um, there might be language barriers. There might be learning barriers. And the more simple you can make that cleaning process, the better. Some of the other things are, it creates a uh, improved health and safety. It reduces employee risk. Um, from concentrated chemicals. Uh, it also improves the health and safety of your building because traditional cl cleaning chemicals leave behind a residual on surfaces. And that residual is touched by any occupant that comes into that building. When our cleaning solution is done working, it reverts back to oxygen and water. And there is no residual, harmful residual left on a surface for anyone to touch. Uh, our clients have seen lower hard costs in terms of chemical savings, lower soft costs in terms of training, and being the, my background is business and accounting, finance, and all this other stuff, I'm going to kind of go that direction real quick. But if you think about what would be called a procurement to pay cycle, the whole process of, oh, wow, I, I need chemical X, and so now i got to go talk to Susie in accounting and get a purchase order. And now it's got to be transmitted to my distributor, and it's got to be shipped, and it's got to be received and stored and handled and mixed, and all the waste has to be disposed, and oh, now I'm out, now i got to do it again. That whole process gets eliminated when you have an on-site, on-demand system like what we have. Uh, improved brand reputation. Uh, Entities can use this and tout this in a sustainability report. Hey, we're doing something that really has an impact on the environment, that's good for our environment, and we're taking chemicals out of our process. And when it comes to sustainability, our product hits a home run. And I'm going to use the next slide to kind of illustrate that. So if you think about packaged chemicals, packaged chemicals are harmful, harmful to people, harmful to the environment, from the manufacturing process to the cost to transport all the chemicals, to the storage and all the safety issues, to the concentration exposure, the application exposure, and ultimately all of the package waste that we're placing into landfills, et cetera. When you talk about an on-site, on-demand system like CleanCore, you eliminate most of that process. We recently conducted um, what's called a life cycle analysis. And what that does, uh, it's a study done uh, that we had completed for us where you take alternative methods, and in this case, alternative methods of cleaning, and compare the environmental impact of the two methods. Um, first method, obviously, is, is cleaning with our technology. The second method would be cleaning with traditional cleaning chemicals and methods, and we selected a K through 12 school as the example that we would use in this study. And so what, what was the estimated impact? Pretty significant. If 20% of the schools, K through 12 schools in the United States of America were to implement clean core technologies and replace their traditional chemicals, we would offset the emission of over 58,000 vehicles for five years. We would lessen our dependence on foreign oil by over 385,000 barrels, or we would provide enough energy to, to run 56,000 homes for five years. That's a city the size of Flint, Michigan or Sioux City, Iowa. We'll talk about the business real quick here. 
Uh, over the past two years, Clean Core has really been focused on uh, product standardization and commercialization. We've been working on awareness and marketing. And um, we've been doing third party testing, which I'm going to talk, talk about again on the next slide here in just a minute. And we've really been trying to grow revenues. And that's significant for us as, a, as you know, a, a fairly new kind of startup company. Um, we have over 100 clients right now. We have real revenues, real clients, and we're growing. Um, as you can see from the, the, the slide here, uh, you can see some of the clients and some of the industries that we're focused in right now. One of the hurdles that we have with any new cleaning technology or any new technology is people who are using the old technologies, you know, well, show me, give me some proof. Why does it work? How does it work? And, well, you know, they're not going to take my word for it. So third-party testing is very, very important. And that's where we've started a relationship with UNMC. Um, we have entered into a relationship uh, with Professor James Talmadge, and his lab is conducting a four-stage research project for us right now. It's partially funded through a state of Nebraska grant. Um, the first stage of that uh, project, the initial stage, has been completed. And you can see the, uh, the summary that I've included here simply states, in summary, based on the, si the studies executed, aqueous ozone was able to decontaminate both stainless steel and ceramic surfaces from E. coli and listeria contamination. Um, we're now moving on to the second stage. We're testing more contaminants and more surfaces, and uh, we hope to have the, this project wrapped up early next year. But this is the type of report and this is the type of information that our clients are looking for and they say they need to be able to, to implement our technology. And I've thrown this, this slide in to talk about. This is kind of out in the future. This is kind of pie in the sky. But it, it's of interest to me and it's going to be of interest, I would think, to, to most of the people here in this audience. We have an individual that we've been working with for a few years that we initially were trying to sell our technology to him for use in his business. And through a variety of uh, circumstances, he became uh, very interested in the potential for topical treatment, using our aqueous ozone for topical treatments. Okay? And he has spent, of his own money, he's bought systems from us and he's used them in, uh, and not clinical trials, but in trials. Uh, for things like nail fungus, whether it's fingernail or toenail fungus. Um, he's also used it for things like uh, wound infections, diabetic foot ulcers, diabetic foot infections, burn care, acne, rashes. He's even used it on uh, uh, dental plaque and gingivitis. And he's gotten to a point where he said, I am convinced, and I, and I want to start to talk about a license of this technology, to do more testing to prove that this can be a topical treatment in a medical environment. And so that's something that's exciting, and, and we'll work with him, and, and who knows, that may be something that we end up working with UNMC on also. So uh, just to wrap up, I uh, want to encourage everyone to go to our website. The link that you see on there would actually take you to a page that has videos that we have on our website. And that, those videos will show you, uh, the longest one there is a, it's kind of a how it works video. It'll give you a little more background on ozone, what it is, what its qualities are, and how our technology works. There's a video there that will introduce you as to how it might work in a healthcare environment. And there's custom, customer testimonial videos from Omaha Public Schools. Uh, obviously a, a K through 12 type operation. Uh, Silverstone Group, which would be a, an office building, and then from a building service provider, a janitorial operation on how it happens to, to fit into their operation. You also see my name and contact information. I would encourage you to contact me if you have any questions beyond this evening, anything that you think of. Um, I love talking about the technology to anyone who's interested. And last thing, I will tell you that as a startup company, um, if anyone is interested in investing, we are talking and looking for new investors for the company to help us through the commercialization stage. So with that, I'll uh, open up to questions. I'm just curious about pricing. It seems to me from the customer's point of view, they're going to have to shift their behavior from you know, purchasing low-cost chemicals on an ongoing basis to what I'm guessing is a fairly expensive piece of equipment up front. Mm -hmm. handle that. And also, just on the business model, how you, how you came up with your pricing model. 
Well, the, the, first of all, the pricing model kind of is forced on us by the, the cleaning market. There's, there's certainly a limit as to what we can charge for our equipment. But there's a market for this type of equipment. Most of it, though, is uses traditional chemicals. And what we've done is we've just tr replaced the traditional chemicals with our aqueous ozone solution. So it's not something brand new to the market. Um, our equipment is a little more expensive, but we can clearly show a payback within 12 months for that investment when you, when you take into to account both the soft costs and the hard costs. Okay? Are there any you know, side effects for people who are exposed to breathing the ozone? Uh, that, that's a great question because ozone is an irritant, yes. And in high quantities or high concentrations, ozone can be very harmful. Can you repeat the question? Oh, I'm sorry. The question was about um, exposure to ozone uh, gas and its impact for people, is there any negative impact? Um, and so as a gas, ozone is, is harmful in high concentrations. And so you don't wanna be around you know, those, those high concentrations. OSHA's limit is eight hours of continuous exposure for 0.1 parts per million of ambient ozone. Okay, and that's, that's important because what we do is an aqueous ozone. Okay, so it's suspended in water. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no odor. There is some off-gassing of the, of the ozone, but not, not above those ocean limits. Uh, you would have to be uh, very, very sensitive to ozone to have any kind of a reaction to it. Okay? Like, uh, I'm trying to, it seems almost like it sells itself. Um, uh, repeat again, what is the issue? Well, the, well, the issue is, is I, I'll give you a great example, okay? You walk in and you talk to somebody and um, you're talking to the, the, the environmental services director. And they'll sit there and they'll cross their, cross their arms and they'll look at it and they say, I've been using chemicals all my life and they work. How do I know or how can I trust that you work? Well, first of all, I would argue you don't know if the chemicals work or not. Okay, but it's an education and it's a hurdle that we have to get over because it's a new technology. Everybody's so comfortable that, they, that if they don't have something that really motivates them to change, they're, they're just comfortable here and they're gonna stay here. Do you think it's, it's that or is it the price of the instrument? No, I don't believe it's the price of the instrument. I think it's education and knowledge. Because I would give them an instrument for free and make the money on that. I, and we have, given some, we have given some instruments away, yes. We've, we've seeded the market with some instruments, but we've got, like I said, we've got real clients with real revenues, and I don't believe we need to do that any longer. Um, it, is an, it is an education, though. It is not, um, it, it's not a sale for an order taker. It is a consultative sale. I have to correct you. You have a device that, you have mm -hmm. that generates this water-based ozone, and then they pour it into a container and they can spray it around things off, right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, please, a personal favor, please talk to the YMCA. <laughs> 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 uh, spray around me when I'm exercising. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and one other question, will this work on male pattern ball? No. <laughs> no. I've tried it. Believe me, I've tried it. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right, Mike, thank you so much for, for coming in, and I really, one more round of applause.